Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing more crock pot dinners. But there's a little twist this time. These are all gonna be really nice, healthy dinners. They might help you lose a few pounds. That is what I am currently trying to do. I've lost about 10 pounds so far. I just have a few pounds hanging on from having a baby 11 months ago, so I'm trying to get those last couple pounds off. And these dinners definitely help with that. So if you are trying to do the same thing, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for some quick and easy dinner ideas. For this first dinner, I'm just going with a classic pork roast dinner because there's definitely room for that in a healthy diet. So I'm just starting off with getting my carrots prepped here. I've just got some whole carrots. I'm just cutting those in half. I want those in big pieces so they don't cook too fast. And then same with my potatoes. I'm just adding those right into my bowl but keeping them in nice big pieces. We are gonna season these pretty heavily to give them some more flavor. I also did add in some chopped up onion. You can do bigger pieces if you want to but I like onions smaller in this recipe you're gonna to want to add in some minced garlic some salt pepper I would recommend about half a teaspoon of each of these and then you're also gonna want some onion powder and some garlic powder you can also add in some Italian seasoning which I did choose to do as well as some paprika all of the measurements will be listed out in my description box just go ahead and check there but then just toss all of that together I've got a bunch of pork roast in my freezer because we did just get a pig. So we've got a lot of pork to use up. So I'm just seasoning this heavily with paprika and then salt and pepper. I seasoned this on each side of the pork roast just to make sure that each side had lots of flavor. You can go ahead and sear this if you want to, but personally, I am usually in a time crunch with all of my kids. So I just like to throw it right into the crock pot as is. And then I just dumped all of those vegetables right on top that we had already prepped. And then I added in about three quarters cup of chicken broth you can also use beef broth if you want to and then I just cooked this on low for about eight hours and that was it super quick and easy dinner for this next recipe, I am making a tortellini and spinach soup. This one was so delicious. I'm just starting off with some ground pork sausage. If you are not cool with using pork while you are losing weight, just swap it out for chicken sausage, ground beef, whatever you want is totally fine. I'm also adding in some onion in there and cooking that in with my sausage. Now back over to my crock pot. Once that is all cooked, I'm just dumping all of that right into my slow cooker. Do make sure to spray it with some oil and then you're gonna add in a scoop of minced garlic, about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one large can of crushed tomatoes, one can of Italian petite diced tomatoes, and then for seasonings I did a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt in there, and then you can also add pepper to taste. And then I'm adding in, I think I did about four cups of broth, but it's really just going to depend on how much like how liquidy you want your soup to be, and then you're just going to cook this on high for about three hours. After my soup was all cooked and ready to go, I'm just adding in my tortellini. Mine was a spinach kind, but you can really add whatever tortellini you want. And then I also added in a couple cups of spinach for some nice vegetables in here. And then I'm just stirring all of this together, also with some Parmesan. I did about half a cup of that and like a third cup of some heavy whipping cream. Stir all of this together and you're just gonna cook it until the spinach and the tortellini is cooked through. It really doesn't take that long, but I would put your crock pot on the high setting just to kind to cook it quickly and then just let that cook through once it's done serve it you can top it with more parmesan and parsley but it was absolutely delicious for this next dinner, I am making a crock pot beef and broccoli, but I actually subbed mine for venison and it was so good, you guys. I will definitely be making this again. My husband really liked it as well and so did my kids. It was definitely a hit all around. We have so many of these venison steaks in our fridge, so I'm just slicing these up into steaks. But of course, you can just use beef or if you have venison, go ahead and use that. Feel free to play around with all of these ingredients in these recipes and you're just gonna slice your meat into thin pieces. And then for the sauce, you're gonna want about a cup of beef broth. I'm just using some water with some beef bouillon. And then you're also gonna add in half a cup of soy sauce. Just dump that right in there. Maybe use a bigger measuring cup than I did because I definitely made a huge mess here, which you're about to see. I'm also adding in a third cup of brown sugar, a little drizzle of sesame oil, as well as some minced garlic. And then you're just gonna dump this right into your crock pot. This flavor in this beef broth was so good. 
salad, absolutely delicious, super simple ingredients. You probably have most of these already on hand. And then I just stirred this in here. I cooked mine on high for, I think it took like three-ish hours and it was super quick and easy. Once the beef was actually cooked through, I just took out a quarter cup of the broth and then I mixed in a quarter cup of cornstarch to make a little slurry. Mix all of that together and then you're gonna dump this right back into your crock pot with a meat mixture and this will help thicken everything up. I'm also adding in my broccoli. So I used two frozen bags of broccoli, but of course you can use fresh if you want to. I just opted for the frozen because it was easy. Already had it in the freezer so it was a little bit cheaper and I just cooked this until my broccoli was done cooking I feel like it took about 30 minutes from this point I just cooked it on high and then I actually topped mine or I topped it with some green onions but I served it over cauliflower rice to keep it a little bit lower carb for myself for this next dinner, I am making a healthier version of a chicken and gravy, which means no packets of gravy. So we are actually gonna be making our own homemade gravy mix. So I'll show you how to do that here. I've got a cup of flour, four tablespoons of bouillon powder. I'm using this one that I picked up at Walmart. You're gonna want four tablespoons of that half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can add in some marjoram, but I skipped that and it was totally fine. Did half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of rosemary, and then half a teaspoon of sage. And then I just mixed all of this together. And that is going to be our chicken um, gravy mix for this. And it was actually really, really good. I will definitely be just keeping this on hand. Perfect for those quick, easy nights where you just want a quick gravy. So just set that aside and we are going to prep our vegetables for this dish too. So I'm chopping up an onion, definitely need this for some flavor. And then these fresh mushrooms added in so much flavor to this dish. Definitely would not recommend skipping it. If you don't have any fresh, just go ahead and use canned. And I think that would work just fine, but I did chop mine pretty small. And then into my crock pot, of course, you know, I'm going to spray it with some oil to help prevent sticking. And then I'm just using three large frozen chicken breasts from Costco. Of course, you can use fresh here too. You can use little tenderloins if you want to, but I just seasoned those heavily with lots of salt, pepper, as well as some paprika. I did also add in a little bit of Italian seasoning and some oregano just because I wanted those flavors to pull through in this dish, but that is optional. And then you're gonna take about five tablespoons of that chicken base that we made in the beginning, that like chicken gravy seasoning. So you're using that instead of the gravy mix. You're gonna do five tablespoons of that and then go ahead and dump in your onions and your mushrooms. If there's any other vegetables that you want to add, go ahead and dump those in there as well. And then you're just gonna add in two cups of water here. You don't need any broth because you already have that in your gravy mix. And then I just cooked this on high for about four hours. This is what it looked like after it was done cooking. I just pulled my chicken out and shredded it super fast with a hand mixer. You can just shred it with forks if you want to, but I wanted mine more on like the finely shredded side and it was just quick and easy that way. And then to thicken this up, I did one tablespoon of cold water with about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Mix all of that together to make a little slurry. Dump that into your crock pot along with your shredded chicken. You can add in any extra seasonings that you want at this time. I basically just added in a little bit of salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, and then just dumped my chicken back in there, stirred all of this together, and then I let this cook for probably another like 20 minutes to let that cornstarch starch slurry work its magic. I served mine over a cauliflower mash instead of doing mashed potatoes just to keep it a little bit more low carb and this was so good. For this next dinner, I am making barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, which is always a classic and a favorite, but they're not that unhealthy to make and you can definitely eat them while losing a little bit of weight. So I'm just starting off with my crock pot. Again, I'm just using a pork roast. Normally when I make pulled pork, I will use like a boneless, pork loin of some sort, but I did not have any. I just used what we had in our freezer. I just added salt, pepper, and garlic powder and paprika to each side of this roast. You do wanna make sure that it's very covered and very flavorful, so make sure that you hit all of the sides with the seasoning. 
You can add however much sliced onion that you want. I only had a little bit on hand, so that's all that I used. And then I did a quarter cup of brown sugar, about a tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. Just go ahead and dump that right in there. And then my secret for a little bit of tanginess is to use this zesty Italian dressing. It's my favorite. I did a quarter cup of that in there. And then of course we need our Sweet Baby Rays. This is my absolute favorite. I never use any other barbecue sauce. I did a cup of that and I just cooked this on low for eight hours. Once it was done, I took out any fatty pieces, I shredded it up, and then I just served it over buns, and it was so good, you guys. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up these healthy crock pot dinners. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more healthy dinner recipes. I have a couple more videos planned, so make sure you are subscribed, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.